Thanks for joining me again, you guys. Today, we're working on Secundus tiles early before the release. Using some iconic kits from Necromunda, Zone Mortalis. We're going to hopefully convert into something that looks like this from the Warhammer community. Thanks for joining me. It's been a while since I did a tile build. At least one from actual uh, Games Workshop kit. Uh, this is going to turn into a little bit of an unboxing as well. So it's nice. I've had these sitting around for a little bit looking for an excuse. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to be uh, reinforcing these walls and columns with extra glue. And this is going to add a uh, rust effect. It's also going to... Uh, strength of the tile for when I start doing the, the real cutting later. Um, trying to figure out what my you know dimensions are going to be. You always want to when you're doing these kits uh, just preset a little bit just to make sure everything fits. Um, I wanted to get a warp look. To be perfectly honest, I wasn't entirely sure which way I was going at this point. So I figured, you know what, I'll shove some foam in. I know I wanted a bash some wires out of the side of these things and as you can see I'm going pretty hot and heavy with my side cutters it's a pretty expensive GW plastic uh, recommendation for those of you buying these kits for the first time do do this um, you will probably have a, a small heart attack uh, with the amount of money that you will dump on these right away here especially these days um, I have hookups, not to mention this will probably be my 24th or 25th tile. I can't really remember anymore. <laughs> so I'm kind of used to working with these. Um, yeah, for this first tile, you know, I really wanted to try to mimic a bit or at least as close as I could get with my parts um, to that Warhammer community picture, um, which of course is showing off with the you know, the preview of the new terrain. Um, yeah, I didn't want to go so far as to try to melt things. Not on this build any, anyways. Um, I have a few ideas for some other builds um, where maybe we will get a little melty. Um, but I haven't really figured out how I'm going to be able to control that on uh, these kinds of tiles just yet. So... Um, what I figured was we were going to do a lot of cutting. We're going to add a lot of super glue and baking soda effects for rust. Um, and yeah, here we go. We're, we're gluing them down. Um, the, uh, the blue glue you see that I have there is Tester's Plastic Cement. Um, it's kind of the best of both worlds with modeling uh, polystyrene cement and super glue. Um, it's, uh, I found it's pretty doggone nice. I get it at the railroad shops. Um, but uh, yeah, at this point, we have the base tile down. Uh, as you can see, I've, I've warped the tops a little bit. Now we're gonna be adding the junk because of course Hive Secundus has been, you know, bombed trying to keep the gene stealers out. Or sorry, in. First of all, trying to eradicate them, then trying to keep them in by building the dust wall. And uh, I'm really, really excited to be working on zone morts again. Um, I've had this stuff for a second now. And like I said, looking for excuses. We've got them now. Oh my goodness, going to do a big bits bash. As you can see, I'm double pliersing on these doors. Um, yeah, I'm gonna guess there's gonna be all kinds of new rules and things for how you maneuver through the hive. 
Um, you know, I, I don't really know, to be honest. Yeah, there are double pliers, it's snapping, kind of snapping. Um, those thick doors, it really comes in, uh, this is nice. Yeah, a little bit of stuff from some very, very old kit. Um, you know, I, you've seen me use that stuff before. Um, you know, and some bits and bobs running around. This is, like I said, this is a great opportunity to just be, just dive into the bits box, you know, stuff that's left. And it's supposed to look broke. That's the whole idea. Uh, even more than <laughs> the other zone tiles. Um, yeah, so, you know, I'll let you watch me futz around here for a little bit and uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're getting a Steiner Res primer out and we're going with green right away. Uh, of course, some of you that uh, are aware and actually looking at those pictures from GW will <laughs> realize that the tiles actually aren't painted green. They're, uh, they're painted pretty drab gray with a green light on it for that photo on one side. Um, I like green guys. I don't know what to tell you. Um, this is a really nice opportunity for me to also use these sponging techniques that I've been uh, trying to perfect. Um, this is acrylic and those are three greens that I used really rough stipple brushes or uh, uh, stipple sponges. Um, just did the insides there. Um, if you take a good look at that community tile page, um, uh, the, the, uh, I'm, I'm still not sure whether those are going to be cardboard tiles or the sheet paper, um, but they do look a bit more, uh, what's the word, dilapidated uh, than the even regular Hive Primus tiles. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going pretty quick on the painting end of this. Um, this was an awful lot of powder work um, as far as it goes. The, uh, the green effect that I got, I used a, uh, uh, not a turquoise ink, but a green ink with a bunch of, uh, with a phthalo blue mix to it. Um, the uh it really works well with the orange weathering powders uh yeah we'll get a few posters um i'm not ready for graffiti yet until i get the rules to figure out whether there would be any graffiti um we're gonna end this paint job up and pretty much end this tile up with a very deep dose of shadowing um uh, it took me a second to figure out what shadow color I wanted to do with this. Um, and I chose an indigo with a bit of black toned down to it. Um, it's a very, very dark purple, um, of which case it works out great with that blue green that I have. The shadows are ridiculously cold, which is, you know, pushing that rust color out. And also that uh, nuclear green coming out of the pipe there. But uh, anyways, yeah, for future reference, there might be some Hive Secunda sump at some point. But uh, yeah, here's a finish, finished looks of the tile. Um, I didn't manage to do this one and get it to a bigger or uh, the, the uh, old guard games cameras or anything. Not on the first tile. Um, when I get a couple of tiles in, uh, we'll bring him on over there and I'll get some proper shots with, uh, you know, Little jerks running around inside the hive, getting lost and killed, you know, like Necromunda. Um, but uh, yeah, I was uh, crazily inspired. Um, this went together pretty doggone fast. Um, I was able to get an idea in my head based upon another picture and pretty much I mean, yeah, it's it's different. It's a homemade looking tile, you know, other than the Games Workshop uh, standard stuff that's gonna come. I can't wait for that, uh, the 
melted up zone mortalis and the the other stairwell blockers and just all that garbage that's coming it's gonna be awesome i uh i'm going to be converting the next tile i'm going to do is going to be a bridge tile um over something i haven't figured that out yet but uh yeah it's going to be a two-tiered monster that's going to be linking up with stuff so uh yeah i'll let you guys you know keep watching the ends here and uh i'll be back right at the end you guys have enjoyed this because i had a blast painting it um i had a blast shooting it and as always we'll see you for the next one and please like and subscribe